my channel. My name is Nathania Sterling. For those of you who may not know me, um, as I'm sure you guys have seen from this title, I'm going to be talking about my nursing school slash clinical bag. Um, before we get into the video, I would like really, really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and even like on this video so I, would, so I know that you guys enjoy contents like this and that I'll have the motivation to keep posting frequently, especially during school. Um, but yeah, I wanna just jump right into this video and let's get started. All right, so as I'm sure you guys have seen from my despotted look, I am definitely <laughs> a college student. I'm so sorry, I am too lazy today to put on makeup. I don't normally wear makeup either way and my hair, as you can see from this hot mess behind here, is up because we are not allowed to have our hair down. I actually had a really, really cute style, but I couldn't keep it because it's cool. So let's go right in. Um, this is my bag right here. This is my nursing school bag um, and my clinical bag. It's actually the uh, Ava, Olivia, sorry, Olivia and Joy. I got it from TJ Maxx for $30. Just a little bit of information about my bag. But yeah, I use this bag for both class and clinical days, lecture and clinical. So, I mean, this bag is kind of handy. Um, it's not the biggest. I really wish I had a rolly bag so I wouldn't be straining my back as much, especially today, I'm so sore. But it is a decent sized bag and it holds everything that I need for school and class. Especially when you go to clinicals, so you don't need that big of a bag anyways. So to get started, I will say that right now, the materials I'm gonna show you guys is what I have for just one day. I do switch out my materials in this bag every other day day depending on my class schedule i do not put things or leave things that i do not need for a certain class it just holds up space and it's just heavier to carry so i do only have like one set of materials at a time and the good thing about this semester is we don't need a lot most of the materials we can leave at home or you can just leave it in your car and if you really really need it then you can just go and grab it so enough rambling on um first thing first i do have my hand sanitizer on the front pocket i have another one inside and on my key i keep hand sanitizer everywhere um, you're a nursing student, you're going to need to wash your hands frequently, but hand sanitizers are really important and just good for your hygiene. Like, if you need to wash your hands really quick or anything, I have that on me, especially now flu season, ew. So, yeah, first thing first. And then second, I have my stethoscope, as you can see here. Um, I talk about this, I believe, in my kit material. There's a video about that if you want to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but, yeah, this is my stethoscope. I normally keep it in the side pocket. Um just pop it in and out like such um, it's very easy to access that way which is why I like this bag um, let's go inside so inside of this bag I have my binder then I also have my whew, crushed up med cards yes definitely need my med cards um for every class we take the semester there's a certain list of medications that we need to know and have cards written out for them so it's one less thing to worry about once we dive into like skills and materials every single week that's one less thing because med cards take forever to do okay and then I also have my planner here which I'm trying to be more organized this semester so I have my planner um, it's very self-explanatory. I've never tried planning before, like with planners, but last semester and this semester, I'm like, I took the initiative as well to like, okay, really need to set my game up, and I think a planner will definitely help with that. Um, another material that I got is this little bookie here. Um, you want to carry around paper with you in clinical settings, so if there's anything you need to remember and you can't write it down immediately, you have a little book where you can leave in your scrap pocket. This fit perfectly in them. Um, and you can just write down what you need to remember and so you don't forget your information if you want to pass on something to somebody else like hey yeah I have it written right here then I have my as you can see paper in it but this is my clipboard that I use as well this folds right up into the scrap pocket um, got it off Amazon and it's really nice um, I also have my portable charger I have to keep that in there and then feminine you just, you just, I mean, come on, you're a woman. And then I have a pouch right here of pencils, like um, pencils, sticky notes, um, tabs, my regular scissors to cut stuff with, regular scissors, glue, Sharpie, you need a Sharpie, y'all, like, who care? But yes, I have a bunch of those materials in that little pouch there 
tuck it away, don't have to worry about it, just grab it, push it in, done. I have my spray, my lotions, um, these are really nice scents. If you see them, I'm not sure if this is focusing, but I, yes, I have Bath & Body Works and then I got this Coral Sorter from TJ Maxx. Alright, so moving on, I have my skills material. So these are my scissors right here. I keep, there's a little pocket inside of the bag that I keep these materials in so they're separate and excluded from the things I would like use in class. So scissors, calculator, I have my watch, which is normally in my lab kit, but I took it out today because I, I, a classmate of mine uh, forgot their watch, just why I always keep two. And then I also have my all my two pen lights. So pen lights, um, regular pen, Sharpie, like I mentioned before, and I have some um, tape and a nail clip because we can't have our nails too long so I just keep a nail clip just in case I forget to cut my nails or just those annoying times when like you see your nails just need to be cut and, you know I keep it in there so I can cut my nails okay, so moving on I have this little pocket right here and in that middle pocket the first thing I have is my blood pressure cuff um, I use this to practice in class um, we don't really use this much in the clinical settings um, not much in a nursing home but definitely not not in a hospital it's a safety um, hazard so I won't be using that much once we get into clinicals I won't be taking it at all I'll just leave it at home but yes I do have my blood pressure cuff and I also have um, face mask as such you see these face masks it's flu season and yeah just safety and then I also have um, some alcohol wipes so I'll keep these alcohol wipes in my bag to wipe off my stethoscope, um, anything like pencil, pen, phone, whatever. I just love them. And then I'll also have my Tylenol, um, just in case I get a headache or somebody have a headache, I can save a person's life and I can save mine as well. So I got that. And that's basically all that was in that middle section. Now moving on to the very front, it's the last and final. All I keep there is my wallet, and some lip balms as such. I have a bunch of lip balms and lipsticks in there. So they're all just thrown in. So I just search around and dig around for everything. And then I like to keep a snack. Today I had peanuts. So I keep a snack in there. And then candy and some more pens and highlighters. So whatever I forgot to throw back into my um, pencil uh, my pencil pouch, I'll just throw it into the front of my backpack and Sometimes I leave them there, sometimes I put it back, but it's just easy access. If I don't want to go and dig in my bag to pick out a pouch and take it out of the pouch, it's already there in the front, so I just grab something. All right, guys, so that was it for this video on um, what's in my nursing and clinical bag. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed making this really quick and simple. Do not mind my look, as I said before. But um, if you guys haven't yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. So I know that you guys like this content and like videos like this and I'll keep posting. Thanks guys for watching. Thank you for supporting me. For all of you guys who have left comments and just watch my channel and my videos. Thank you for your support. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week, um, the rest of this month. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys next time. Let me know what you want to see next. And goodbye. <laughs>